3D printing. This technology is having an impact on many fields, from inside and home manufacturing to robotics design and aerospace industry. In this video, we will be discussing what 3D metal printing is, the main characteristics of this process, the different methods used, and how industries are adopting them. Metal 3D printing refers to the category of material and techniques that consolidates the metal materials one layer at a time until the 3D geometry is realized. Some of the advantages that this process brings are the freedom it presents for designers and engineers who design parts, allowing them to concentrate on meeting the functional objectives of the part without having to spend valuable time analyzing the feasibility of manufacturing them through classical methods. It also allows the use of designs created with AI called topology optimization, filling with material only the zones in which it is required. This technique also has the advantage of only using material for the part itself, increasing good use of material without any wastes, having huge savings comparing it with other methods as CNC machining. In the world of metal 3D printing, the end goal that we have in mind is a metal 3D printer that matches the exact size and shape of our complex 3D CAD model, with the advantage of having good mechanical properties to do functional testing with designs that are never before imagined due to the limitations of other manufacturing methods. This one-to-one -one equivalence with complex design is sometimes difficult to achieve with metal materials on classical methods. Most of the time, manufacturers are looking to bring down the total amount of components of an assembly. So instead of lots of components, it can be reduced to fewer 3D printed parts built in the same volume. This type of manufacturing is achieved thanks to the use of software that allows a computer-generated three-dimensional solid model to be divided into a set of layers so that it can be interpreted by the 3D printer hardware. There are different methods to achieve this, but they all start with adhering a first layer directly to a dedicated build plate, the second layer being fused to the first, and so on. But not all are advantages with this type of 3D printed metal parts. Some of the cons that we can find are that production builds can consist of thousands or tens of thousands of layers and can take days or even weeks to complete. Also, the structures that are formed depending on the method used are not of high quality, tending to be porous or have irregular surface finishes and need post-processing to reach adequate levels of resistance, especially in cycles of variable loads that generate fatigue in the structures and encourage the expansion of cracks in the pieces, resulting in premature failures. In addition, it also has very long manufacturing times, resulting in higher costs per part, negatively influencing the economy of scale that is currently used. So it is reasonable to only use it for complex parts where the manufacturing costs with other methods are superior. We also have to consider supply chain factors, such as for example if we need replacement parts that can be out of stock and might be cheaper to print than to wait for the replacements to be fabricated with traditional methods and delivered, allowing us to have a quicker and cheaper solution. Diving a bit more in the process to obtain the metal parts, we must start from a base. In most of the cases for metal 3D printing, the process starts in a large piece of metal called a build plate. The build plate must be flat within the 3D printer prior to starting any metal 3D printing process. The first step in the process is to attach the initial layer of metal to the build plate successfully. Subsequent layers are added one at a time until the 3D geometry is realized. The particulars of exactly how the metal is attached to the build plate and subsequently to previous layers of the build is where things get interesting and processes differ from one another. 
Methods of realizing metal 3D geometries differ primarily in two dimensions. One, by the feedstock delivery system used, that's the way how new material is fed into the system, and two, by the consolidation mechanism leveraged where the physics of how the new material is fused to the build plate and to previous layers. As the metal 3D printing industry continues to grow in scale and complexity, especially in the automotive, maritime, medical, and aerospace industries, more and more R&D grade and production level solutions continue to be developed. This proliferation of technology is a potential boom for advanced manufacturers across the globe. However, not all metal 3D printing processes are created equally. As mentioned, each process comes down to how new material feeds into the printer and how that material is consolidated into 3D geometry. At this time, there are several popular industrial solutions on the market, listed here in order of perceived popularity. Powder bed fusion, or PBF, is a technology that uses a heat source, typically a laser, to center or fuse atomized powder particles together. Commonly used materials are metals and polymers. Inside this technique, we can find direct metal laser sintering, DMLS. This process, as its name suggests, uses a laser to center a very thin layer of metal powder. This process can be used to build objects out of almost any metal alloy. Selective laser melting, SLM, is a process in which a high-powered laser fully melts each layer of metal powder rather than just sintering it. Selective laser melting produces printed objects that are extremely dense and strong. These methods require added support to compensate for the high residual stress and to limit the occurrence of distortion. Binder jetting, or BJ, is a process in which an industrial print head selectively deposits a liquid binding agent onto a thin layer of powder particles. Direct energy deposition, or DED, is a technique that involves a coaxial feed of powder or wire to an energetic source, usually a laser, to form a melted layer on a substrate. Bound powder extrusion, or BPE, is a method in which metal powder isn't lost. Instead, the powder is bound together in waxy polymers, does not require the safety measures as with powder printers, and the filament is extruded out of a nozzle in a manner very similar to standard 3D printers. There are several industry-leading manufacturers that use each technology and more competitors are entering these spaces all the time as the global metal 3D printing ecosystem evolves and grows. We hope that you've enjoyed the video. We will dive further into the details of each process in future videos in this series on metal 3D printing. So stay tuned for more and don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, stay cutting edge.